Hi Aquarius, welcome to your May love reading. This is Mary, Miss Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aquarius, we are going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with someone. So you do actually have to know each other. You don't necessarily have to be together. So whatever your situation is, you could be dating, getting to know, separated, uh, married. I mean, whatever your situation is here, hopefully this resonates for you. But please keep in mind, if it's not resonating for you, then it's probably not your story. Please don't try to make it fit or leave me negative comments because then I will delete them. But um, if it's not resonating for you, you can check other signs in your chart. This is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female. It can be past or present, uh, past, present, or future energies. Please keep that in mind and you can interchange the energies wherever you see fit. Um, so to only take what resonates for you. And uh, again, this is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So you can check those other signs also. And in the description box below, you can find your general in love playlist. So if you want to go back and watch past readings, I do consider them uh, timeless, even though they're dated. Feel free to do that. So let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Welcome, everybody. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, male or female. This is a general collective reading. It's not um, a personal or private reading, so please do keep that in mind. So let's see here. And you can find a lot of other stuff down in the description box, uh, how to reach out for personal reading, uh, decks I'm using, social media links. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, or just send mail, um, that info is below also. And if you're new, uh, check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out. Um, and you get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you so much. All right. So this is Zodiac Oracle. We could get a sign, element, or planet. See how this plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. It doesn't mean the reading's not for you. All right. So what do we have for Aquarius and love at this time, Spirit, please? Someone rising in Venus, male or female, for the general collective. In love for Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Sign, element... All right, okay, we're going to take that one, Pluto. So we have the energy of Pluto, which I believe is Scorpio. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If not, totally fine. But Pluto here, which is 22, which is double two, and two is about partnerships and unity. So that's double. So you both could be, and we got 11, 22. That's just crazy. So you could be marrying each other. You could be talking about soulmate twin flames here. And maybe you're marrying each other right now. Uh, 22 is 4, which is about stability and uh, foundation. So Pluto is the energy of life, death, rebirth, sex, power, and control. So it's like the basic things of life. <laughs> so um, the basic cycles of life, you know, birth and rebirth and death and life and power, sex, control, all those uh, basic, basic energies of life so let's see how that plays into your reading um could be a transformation or rebirth um of a connection here all right so let's see what's going on here for you aquarius and i'm getting like the same energy with the wings so you definitely could be marrying each other wow okay so let's see aquarius so with this deck here it's a new deck for me it's a journey of love oracle I felt it was time for a new love deck, so I bought myself a new love oracle. So if you're new to my channel, how this is going to work is first I'm going to pull one card here for your opening love message, love energy in your connection, whatever it may be. And then I'll pull one for you, one for your person, how you're both feeling about each other in the connection. Aquarius, I'll put you here, your person here. But like I said, anytime during this reading, if you feel like the energies need to be swapped or changed, feel free to do that. But I will call you here and them here. Clarifying the energy with the tarot. Then we'll look at the actual situation, whatever comes up here. Advice, possible outcome. Closing messages with this oracle here. And I always go over the bottom of the decks also. So let's see what we have for you, Aquarius and love. What is the opening energy? Love message, love energy between Aquarius and their person. Whoever they're thinking about at this time for this reading. Someone rising in Venus, male or female. In this connection, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. What? Oh, there we go. Sensual awakening. Wow. And we have 64, which is 10. 10 is about completions, cycles. And then we have 1, which is a new beginning. Someone's becoming awakened here. Very 
sexual, sensual um, awakening between the two of you. Like breathing new life, new color into this connection. Wow. And you have like, like this awakening energy through you, Aquarius, also. So this could be where the sex comes in with the sensual awakening of some kind here. All right. And I'm getting like uh, sacral chakra energy also, which is that's where all your, all your sexual energy comes from. All right. So, so put you here, Aquarius. So let's get one for Aquarius. How are they feeling about Aquarius? All right. So I had this one and now I have this one. So... All right, so I'm feeling this one. So we do have uh, Angel of Jupiter Awaken. So six is, again, about healing and balance. So your person definitely <laughs> is awakening. And Jupiter is Sagittarius energy. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. Uh, doesn't have to be someone rising or Venus. But um, Jupiter is that energy of luck, expansion, faith, hope, optimism kind of energy. Wow, so let's see what you have, Aquarius. So you have Hidden Beauty, which is 45, which is 9. Again, 9 is that energy of um, coming to a completion, but then there's always a new beginning. So we have 9, 10, you're 11. Wow, so... It could be that maybe you... Because you see this person is kind of closed off. It could be that your person has awakened... And maybe you haven't yet. You've Maybe you failed to see the hidden beauty within this connection. But I feel like your person is definitely awakened here to this connection. They see the beauty of it. They see the hope, the luck, the expansion, the joy. And very sensual, sexual energy also. And it could be that you're, you haven't yet been awakened to this connection yet. Aquarius, or it could be vice versa. So let's see. And then at the bottom here, we have Earth Angel, which is 54, which is nine again, about things coming to a completion. So we have two nines here. So Earth Angel. So this is very practical energy. Um, Earth energy is very smart, practical. It's slow moving. It's steady. It's secure. It's stable. Um, somebody here definitely sees somebody as an earth angel. Could be your person sees you as that, Aquarius. But I feel like you, you're you not acknowledging that or you don't see it yet. You could, you know, I feel like this man or woman kind of has uh, maybe low self-esteem or um, something like that. Maybe they don't see themselves as beautiful. Somebody doesn't see themselves as beautiful here or they have low self-esteem or they're failing to see the beauty of this connection. Somebody is totally awakened to this connection and they see the other person as definitely, definitely their angel, earth angel. Somebody here is very smart, practical, um, grounded, secure, here, stable. Wow, so let's clarify this energy for you, Aquarius. Clarifying this energy for Aquarius. Aquarius. Because if you double 11, you get 22. So, and your person could be in the energy of 22, like fully awakened to this connection. And maybe you, you know, you're not at that level yet, Aquarius. Or it could be vice versa here. But, all right. So, let's see. Aquarius. Let's clarify this energy for Aquarius in love. Sun, Moon, Rhinus. That's Rhinus. <laughs> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh my gosh. All right. So we have the King of Swords and we have the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So the King of Swords energy here is Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, this is air. You are an air sign. So this could be, um, I can't even speak, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So this definitely is your energy. And here's a divinely gift from divinely gifted present from God. It's uh, a stable, brand new beginning. There's that earth angel coming in, the angel bringing in the pentacle, because this is earth energy. 
So you, I feel like you're you're failing to see this king or queen of swords, king or queen here doesn't matter, or the ace always reminds me of that divine energy, divine source, divine intervention, trying to shed truth, clarity, light, trying to communicate, trying to send you something. Divine here is trying to send you this person who wants to give you this ace of pentacles, but you're not seeing it. You don't feel like you're worthy um, kind of energy either. Maybe you're cutting off this person because you don't feel worthy or you have low self-esteem or whatever here. The king of swords, he's got the sword up. So, I mean, it could be an energy of getting ready to cut something off or getting ready to speak, you know, something could be harsh sometimes, but it's truth, it's clarity, uh, open honest communication, cutting away something here. I feel like divine here is really, because you see this cloud here merging into the cloud here with the hand from the divine with the stable new beginning. They're trying to hand you this because we have angel, angel. We have angel here twice. This person, wow, really, really sees you as their earth angel. Or, or like I said, it could be vice versa. So definitely somebody could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, so, so far we have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Gemini. Or it could be your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But we have earth, earth. So Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So if I mention the sign you're dealing with, fine. If not, that's fine too. It's all just energy. Or it could be someone rising Venus in their chart. So let's see Aquarius their energy it's too many so Aquarius this person let's clarify their energy their energy for Aquarius yeah wow yeah did I not say they see you as their angel this Empress energy somebody that they put on a high pedestal here that they see is somebody who is worthy who is um, has a lot of growth abundance they see you as their queen embodying all the energies as of all the queens, they see you as this empress. They see you. And you don't, I don't think you see yourself that way. And they want to come together. They want to reunite. They want to come together here with you. We got two threes here. Two threes, which is about reuniting, coming together, uniting. So they definitely want to unite with you. They see you. I mean, emperor or empress, but the empress energy here is Libra and Taurus. So, I mean, they're definitely, they, they hold you in high regard. They hold you, I don't want to say on a pedestal, but they see you as this angel. And they want to offer you this, but I don't feel like you feel like you're worry, uh, worthy or something like that. But the divine is trying to show you they want to give you this. But you either not seeing it or acknowledging it. Wow, somebody's had an awakening. Or you need maybe, um, you know... Maybe they're trying to awaken you to this energy also. But there's a lot of hidden beauty here. If you could lift up your head and see what is being offered to you, I feel like you're not seeing it or you don't want to accept it for some reason. So let's see here. Um, let's see the actual situation for you, Aquarius. Aquarius. You feel like you're not worthy, but look how they see you as this empress. This empress is the mother of the deck. They embody all the queens of the deck. So they do do see you in high regard, high, high regard. Definitely high energy here of wanting to come together with you. All right, so what is the actual situation here? So we do have the lovers coming on your side, Gemini energy here. So this is about soulmates, twin flames, lovers here. So, and it's connected to this divine energy is trying to get you to see they're trying to work with you here with the three of pentacles energy there's that earth energy again they're trying to work with you to, sh to show you the truth the clarity divine intervention that this is your soulmate twin flame they're trying to offer this to you they're trying to work with you so you could see this but you're like hiding you're hiding from it maybe you're hiding from this person i don't know so let's see what else here in this actual situation for you. But we have a lot of threes here. We have three, three, three. So they definitely, divine source energy, definitely is trying to awaken people here uh, to the joy of this connection, to the soulmate to a flame that's meant to be. All right, so what else here? The Knight of Swords. 
So something rushing in here. Very fast-paced travel action. Again, with the sword, with the energy, like divine, really, really. They're trying hard. They are trying hard to show you this. So the Knight of Swords there can be uh, Aquarius. That's your energy. And I felt that. <laughs> They're trying to work with you here to show you what this connection is. Wow. So what else here? here? The High Priestess. So this person intuitively knows that's that divine energy. That's spiritual energy. That's uh, intuition, higher knowing kind of energy too. It can be an energy too of not communicating or keeping secrets. Also, like they already know that this is the divine feminine. So you definitely could be the feminine watching this. You could be male and be feminine. You know how it resonates for you. But they already know that you're their divine counterpart. They want this to come together. Maybe they don't want to scare you by saying, hey, we're divine counterparts. This is meant to be, blah, blah, blah. So maybe they're keeping that from you. But there's an energy here of rushing in to each other. I feel like they definitely want to rush into you and express all this to you, but they're not. They're kind of holding back. But they definitely want to come together. And I feel like also here, this is divine source really trying to show you this energy. But I feel like you're, you're like hiding your face here. Yeah, they're waiting. Three of Wands energy here. The High Priestess here can be uh, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. The Three of Wands here. Three again. I'm serious. Look at all the threes. One, two, three, four. Four threes so far. So that's 12, which is three. So <laughs> three. It all equals three. Wow. Heavy energy here. We're wanting to come together, but waiting, patiently waiting. They're patiently, patiently waiting. Not taking any action right now. Waiting for the right time. They're waiting for you. I feel like they're fully awakened to this, but they're waiting for you to become awakened. So you could be the masculine watching this um, or vice versa. It doesn't matter. But somebody here is fully awakened. They know you're their divine counterpart. They're waiting to reunite, come together, waiting for the right time. But I feel like you're either not seeing it or you don't feel worthy or you're not really acknowledging this for some reason. But divine energy is really trying to work with you here to show you this is your divine counterpart with the lovers here. Because we have all threes and then we have a six here. And six is divisible by three, which would be two, which would be partnership and unity. <laughs> That's crazy. All right. So let's get advice for you. Let's get advice for you. Advice for you. I do believe we had a six over here. And what was this number here? Six. No, what was this number here? Yeah. Oh, nine. Okay. But nine, six, they're all divisible by three. Wow. The only one that was 10 over here, but all right. So, but 10 equals again, completion, one, a new beginning. So awakening to a new beginning here. Uh, they're trying to awaken you to this new beginning because here's a new beginning here with the Ace of Pentacles. This is stable, secure. It's grounded. It's long-term growth, abundance, practical, safe, stable, all that energy with the Pentacle energy long-term. Wow. Okay. So let's see your advice for you, Aquarius. The Wheel of Fortune. So again, this is divine energy, divine fate, destiny, things going in the right direction, things moving in the right direction. What's meant for you is going to come in for you. What's meant to be, whatever is happening here is meant to be. So Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy here. The divine is trying to show you that. They're trying to move this wheel. You see the wheels up here, like three wheels. They're trying to spin this so that this union can happen, that you can come in and come together with this person. Wow. All right, a 10 again. So now we got two 10s about completions, full circle, full cycle here. The Queen of Cups energy. So this is um, Cancer, but doesn't have to be. King or Queen. So somebody here trying to show you divine trying to show you the love that this person has for you so somebody definitely has a lot of love and emotion feelings intuitive energy healing nurturing uh, compassionate energy also this could be your person 
they already know they already know about this connection six of uh, wands in reverse so this is could be not getting attention so another six it's in reverse so there isn't healing and balance right now it's not six of wands in reverse it's not about uh there isn't any success or victory right now or balance or healing energy somebody is not getting attention this person is not getting attention from you even though they have a lot of love and emotions from you i think you're closed off to them for some reason reason but divine energy is here trying to move this along wow i feel like divine is really trying to move this uh, connection along trying to get you to see that this is meant to be and you're closed off to it aquarius i feel so now we have the queen of pentacles here so king or queen doesn't matter so this could be um capricorn it doesn't have to be so we have two queens here and i did say that they see you as every queen in the deck so we have two queens so far and look at that the queen of swords at the bottom so i was getting you know maybe okay maybe there's uh two people here but now that we have um another queen here the only one missing is the queen of wands but i feel like um they see you as every single queen again divine energy here with the queen of swords the king and queen it's a matching couple soulmate twin flame energy again the queen of swords and the queen trying to shed light truth clarity on this connection to sh try to show you the stability the practicality of this connection with the queen of pentacles the growth the expansion that could be had the love the emotions the feeling the feelings deep emotional bond that could be between the two of you but you're not giving this the attention that it deserves so your you, your advice here is that you need to give this the attention that it deserves really need to look at this divine is really trying to show it to you to move this in the right direction there are a lot of uh, deep feelings and emotions here and stability practicality long-term energy wow okay so let's see i did just see the emperor too on the bottom here and we have the empress here so divine divine counterparts here in a matching couple king and queen all right so what else here what else here what else here for you aquarius possible outcome of this connection for you i keep hearing uh you are worthy and i just had this for message like for another sign um i don't remember what sign it was but i think it was scorpio and that is scorpio there so you could be dealing with a, with a scorpio all right possible there's the fast action travel communication passionate communication taking action somebody's going to take action here very fiery passionate action or sending a text an email uh calling on the phone here somebody's taking action so the queen of swords here can be libra doesn't have to be so what else for the possible outcome who's taking action wow because this is again past life soulmates soulmates from the past could be somebody you've known from the past or childhood six again three a lot of threes sixes wow so i don't know if those numbers mean anything three six or nine but they're repeating here but um past life soulmates someone you've known from the past so again soulmate energy here somebody is will take action whether it's you now realizing this is your divine counterpart soulmate or them rushing into you just saying hey look you know we're soulmates <laughs> and this is this is the energy of the connection so what else here for you aquarius 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 i feel like the universe is trying to show you this is your divine counterpart so one more possible outcome the moon so again um a lot of deep feelings and emotions um cancer pisces energy deep feelings emotions intuitive energy uh maybe a little fear stress worry anxiety not seeing the path clearly or secrets or feeling a little disillusioned energy here i'm just feeling a lot of 
And we have um, 18 here, which equals to 9 again. Wow. So let's get, why is the moon here? I just want one for the moon. Why is that here? What is the moon about? The possible outcome. If you hear that scratching, my cat's in his box. So <laughs> in the, his box is just like right around the corner. Wow. Look at that. The Ace of Swords. And I did say the Ace, the King, the Queen, and we have them all here is to me like divine clarity, truth, um, divine intervention. If you didn't see the, somebody didn't see the path clearly here, was unsure, had fear, stress, and anxiety. And here's the awakening. This is the sword of, of the, sword of the awakening, awakening of the, anyway. Yeah, this is sword of success, victory, aha moment, epiphany, awakening, truth, clarity, open, honest, truthful communication, victorious new beginning. So we have the sword and the pentacle here. Divine really trying to hand this to you, show you this is a divinely orchestrated connection. Could have had past lives with this person. So if someone didn't see it clearly, they will see it clearly in the future. We'll be communicating. I know you are my divine soulmate. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the nine of pentacles. That's like the minor of the empress. So again, someone could be single here, stable, secure, independent, they can take care of themselves, abundant energy, but cancer energy here with the chariot. So again, things moving forward with um, balance, victory, positive movement forward. So there will be positive movement forward. You know, again, there's the infinity symbol connected through lifetimes, you know, things Balanced and then imbalanced, juggling, you know, so trying to sort that out. Making a judgment call, forgiveness, resurrection, um, healing energy, peace, and bringing the soulmates together. So divine energy here, also trying to blow the horn, trying to wake you up to this awakening that this is your divine counterpart. So things can sail into calmer waters. So this judgment here, again, is Scorpio. So things can go to calmer waters, sailing, moving forward to peace, harmony, joy, healing energy. But people are holding back right now, trying to be strong, trying to resist, trying to resist this connection. We got Leo here, trying to resist it, Res trying to resist this connection, trying to have willpower, but this is about courage, being brave, um, having endurance. So somebody can be brave and overcome this energy of holding back. Or somebody is really trying to, and there could be the person really trying to resist coming forward because they know you're not ready yet. They're holding on, not letting go because definitely want commitment here. Marriage, commitment, long term, doing what's moral, just and right, values. And this is Taurus energy and offering their cup of love here with the page of cups. Apologies, love offer here also. Wow. So Leo energy here. Wow, so that's what I see for you, Aquarius, that they see you as your, as their divine counterpart, and they've been fully awakened to this, but you are somehow are blocking it, not seeing it, don't feel worthy, or something like that, but they see you as their angel, their empress, but somebody will gain clarity, whether it's you, or them just saying, you know, I'm tired of holding back, of keeping the secret in. And just finally coming forward. So somebody finally coming forward here after um, being quiet <laughs> and shedding truth and clarity on this deep, deep connection here. We don't have the sun, but we have the feminine energy here with the moon energy. But the pentacle here does remind me of the sun, um, which would be the masculine energy which would be divine counterparts. Wow. All right. So let's get some closing messages for you, Aquarius. Closing messages for you. Seems like now during this time, the state of the world is in, during this uh, full moon we just had, all the energies that these readings I've been doing have a lot been a lot more deeper than previous ones. So it could be just the energy and the state of the world we're in right now. What is this Libra full moon that we just had? So shedding a lot more clarity and balance and um, on whole situations here. All right. So what are the closing messages for Aquarius? Aquarius. Aquarius. Well, I guess that one here. Focus. 3710. 
which is about uh, endings, completions, and then one, a new beginning. So someone is really focused on you, on this connection. You see the heart connected there. Someone is deeply, deeply connected and been totally awakened. They know where their heart belongs. They know what their heart wants really focused on this connection in you and it could be a uh, message here for you now it's time to lift up your head here and focus on what divine is trying to show you and that's that love that divine love that wants uh, wants to come in for you all right so what else for you aquarius aquarius other messages for aquarius Please, thank you so much. Okay, this one. Manifestation, 25, which is seven, divinely guided energy. Yeah, so <laughs> Source is trying to manifest this divinely guided connection. They're trying to manifest this for you, but you need to lift up and take notice. So we have grounding here, which is six, and there's that earth energy. And six, again, about balance and healing. So really needing to ground your energy um, so you can have this growth and abundance come into your life. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, we have soul song 41, which is five, which is about challenge and change. So I feel like <laughs> your souls will both be singing the same song once you can come into alignment. And I just had the energy of the lovers there. I don't know why I have the lovers over here, but again, enlightenment here someone being enlightened growth expansion transformation let your soul sing its song let their soul sing their song to you be awakened to this divine energy that you are worthy they do hold you in high regard as either an emperor or an empress because we have that twice here aquarius wow it's on the bottom of that all right so aquarius <laughs> best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel to always, always shine your light.